All right, everybody, we need to talk about permissions, specifically Oxide permissions. Why do developers put them in their plugins? Why do we need to deal with them as owner operators of Rust servers? And what are the tools I suggest using to make your life so much easier? So in today's video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about permissions, hopefully to clear up any more confusion because there seems to be a lot of it out there. Hey, everybody, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy, where I teach you guys the very best tips and tricks to owning and operating a successful Rust server. On this channel, I do a lot of plugin reviews and tutorials and some other stuff as well to hopefully show you guys the different things that you can do in your servers to make your server stand out from the crowd of thousands of servers that are out there. So if you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing so that you stay up to date on everything that we're working on. And of course, turn on a notification bell so that you get notified as soon as I upload a new video. I upload a brand new video every Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. All right, so despite my best efforts, there's still a lot of people out there that don't really understand permission. So I'm going to break it all down for you. So I'm just going to grab a couple of random plugins off the UMod website and show you guys what I'm talking about if you don't understand what I'm talking about when I'm referring to permissions. So let's just have a look at backpacks here and if we scroll down a little bit you'll see in this box right here which you will see on most UMod plugins in this box if you see permissions there just click on that and it'll automatically take you to that part of the page that's discussing the permissions that are related to this plugin and we can do the same thing with admin radar scroll down a little bit click on permissions there you go those are the permissions that are related to admin radar. So why do plugins have permissions? Well, it's really quite simple. It makes it so that you can either use the plugin or not. If you have the permission granted to you, then you're allowed to use that plugin. Obviously, if you don't have that permission granted to you, then obviously the server owner doesn't want you to be able to use that plugin. A great example of that exact same situation is in the case of Admin Radar. Admin Radar is a plugin that is really only used by admins or moderators of your server, so your general population shouldn't have access to Admin Radar. So you wouldn't grant that permission to your regular players, these permissions right here that you're seeing on my screen right now, you would only grant those to admins or moderators. Another reason developers use permissions is because certain players will have access to certain parts of a plugin and not others and vice versa. So you can have different levels of abilities inside of a plugin or different features of a plugin that you only want a certain group of people to have access to. This is all controlled by using Oxide permissions. So going back to the Backpacks plugin, let's scroll down a little bit. Let's hit the permissions button. So as you can see here, this is the list of permissions available for the Backpacks plugin. And just as an example here, this does not apply to every plugin or every permissions based plugin. But in the example of Backpacks, you have to have the Backpacks.use permission granted to you in order to use any of the features of the Backpack plugin. Once you have that permission granted to you or the players that you want to have access to the Backpack, you then have to select what size of Backpack you want them to have access to. So instead of showing you theoretical evidence, I'm actually going to go into a live server of my own and show you my own backpack settings. So using my permissions manager and don't worry, I'm going to go more in detail on the tools that I use to manage permissions a little bit later in this video. But for right now, let's go in and have a look at the backpacks permission. So as you can see at the top of the screen here, we're working on admin backpacks and we have the dot use granted to this group of admins. We also have the admin setting. Don't worry about that specifically. But down here at the bottom, you can pick which size that group of players has access to. So in this example, admin Admins have backpacks that have seven lines of storage available in their backpack. So if I go back to the regular main menu and select the default group, you're going to see something a little bit different. So backpacks, we have again, we have the dot use granted to that group, but they only have use dot one, which means they only have one line of storage in their backpack available to them. And they don't have the use dot seven down below, like you saw previously on the admin section. So just to take this one step further, I'm now in the top tier of VIP that's available for this server VIP three. And as you can see, dot use is granted and use dot seven is also granted, but nothing else is. So as you can see, you can change what features are available from each plugin based on how you apply the permissions. So let's talk about how you can grant or revoke permissions to a different player or to a different group of players. So for example, let's just grab this backpacks dot use right here. So we could just click on that box right there and it automatically copies it to your clipboard. And then we want to go to our server console. Okay, so now I'm on my server console for my test server, not the live server that I was just showing you guys a minute ago, but there's players in that server and I didn't want any of their information released on this video and I didn't want to have to censor it out. So I just switched my console over to my test server because I know that there's nobody in there. So if you want to grant a permission to a group of players in this example that I'm showing you right now, this is granting this permission to the group called default, which is every single player that joins your server is automatically added to the group called default. 
If I wanted to remove this permission from that very same group, we just do o.revoke instead of o.grant, and then all of the rest of the command stays the same, just like you see it on my screen right now. If you wanted to just grant a permission to a specific player, you would do o.grant user, and then either their name or their Steam64 ID, and then whatever permission it is that you want to grant to that player. Revoking permissions from specific players works in exactly the same way as it does for groups. You do o.revoke user, that player's name name or Steam64 ID and then whatever permission it is that you want to remove from that player. So this section right here is the manual way of dealing with permissions, which once you get into a big server with lots of plugins, you do not want to use this method. I do, however, suggest that you understand how this works just in case you needed to for whatever reason, you're still able to grant and revoke different permissions if you absolutely had to do it from your console. However, as everyone knows me by now, I will always prefer to use a GUI in game that's going to help us control our permissions. So as far as GUIs go, I'm going to show you two examples today. There may be more out there. In fact, there usually is more than what I actually know about because I don't know everything. But the two that I use on a regular basis are admin menu from chaos code, which does a whole lot more than just dealing with permissions. And I also use permissions manager from Stina Maru. Admin menu from Chaos Code does cost money. The one from Stina Maru from Code Fling is free. So let's just explore both of these really quickly. So if you're using admin menu from Chaos Code, you type slash admin in chat, and it's gonna bring up a lot of different information. But what we want to deal with today is this button right here, obviously labeled permissions. So the default screen that that's gonna take you to is basically just an entire list of all of the different permissions that are available on your server. We can scroll through next pages and we can see all of the hundreds of different permissions that you're probably going to have on your server, especially after you start getting a lot of plugins. But these other two buttons here that I'd like to bring your attention to are essentially the GUI version of what I just showed you a minute ago in my console. So we can control things by group or we can control things by player. So let's go into the group permissions and let's just go into default real quick here. And we can have a graphical view of what permissions are granted to which group, in this case, default. On the top left of my screen here, it says toggle permissions for group called default. So as you can see here, we've got backpacks.use and we've got backpacks.use.1, which means they have one line of backpacks in their backpack when they open that up. Let's keep scrolling. Blueprint manager. So obviously they have access to the default blueprints as well as all level one blueprints. They also have access to furnace splitter. They've got access to friends, so on and so forth. You can understand how this is working by simply clicking on this button right here it revokes that permission from that group. So if it's grayed out, they don't have that permission. If it's colored, obviously they do. And like I said before, we can do the exact same thing with players specifically, not in groups, and we can control each individual specific player's permissions. I don't recommend this. It gets a little bit messy when you find that one person has a specific permission, the next person doesn't. It doesn't really work out. I highly suggest you only use the group method because it's going to make your life so much easier. Now, the one thing that admin menu is is actually missing as far as permissions goes is knowing where the permission was granted from. So for example, you're looking at my player character right now and I have a whole lot of different permissions that are granted to my player. But admin menu doesn't tell me if they were granted to me because I'm a member of a group or if they were individually granted to me as a player. And as you're going to see in a minute here, you're going to see that permissions manager actually does a really nice job of that. And just before I leave admin menu and show you permissions manager, just know that there's a whole lot of other things that this plugin does. It doesn't only deal with permissions. For example, real quick, I'll just show you what this looks like. This is basically what you've seen as player administration from the UMod site is now built into admin menu. It's just one of the cool things that they've done over at Chaos Code. It takes admin menu just to another level, just a little bit better than what it was before. And no, by the way, just so that it's said, I'm not getting paid by Chaos Code to promote admin menu. I just know that if anybody has been with me for any length of time, you know that I do flip flop back and forth between admin menu and permissions permissions manager. And speaking of permissions manager, let's have a look at that now. So as you can see, the layout is a little bit different and permissions manager, surprise, surprise, based on the title of it only does permissions. So let's go in and have a look at me. I'll, I'll see if I can show you what I'm talking about as far as where I'm getting a permission from, whether it's from a group or if it was individually granted to me. So let's go
go into backpacks. Okay, so perfect. This is a great example. Sorry, I just had to go somewhere dark so that you guys could see what I was seeing on my screen. So let's go back into backpacks. All right, so as you can see here, my individual player character has everything revoked. But just on the other column there, it's showing that, that this permission is actually being inherited from somewhere else. So if we click on this inherited button, it's going to tell us where it's being inherited from. So my player character is having backpacks.use inherited because I'm a member of the default group and I'm a member of admin and I'm a member of VIP three. Let's just go into my portals plugin permissions. I don't have anything granted to me as an individual player. So I must be getting these permissions granted to me from another group. So let's go into the inherited button again. And as you can see there, portals.use is inherited from the admin group. And of course, I'm a member of the admin group. Therefore, I'm getting all of the permissions that are granted to the admin group onto my player character. If you want to be managing things as a group, which of course, that's the way I suggest you do it, you can of course do that. So inside of permissions manager down at the bottom of the screen, you can click on all groups. And from here, we can pick from the list of groups that are available on this server. So for example, let's go into let's go into the medic kit. Now this medic group was created by player challenges. So don't worry about all that. But let's go in and see. And of course, I know the benefit that you get for being the medic leader on the player challenges leaderboard is access to a different kit. So we can go in here and have a look. Everything is revoked except for this medic kit right here. And that's how all this is laid out. So we've got granted on one column and revoked on the other column. If you want to grant everything, of course, you would click on this grant all button. I'm not going to do that right now because that would really screw things up. Or if you wanted to revoke everything, you would just click that button right here. Same thing. You don't want to do that unless you're in like an emergency situation and you have to absolutely remove all access to whatever plugin it is that you're dealing with. It's going to be a very specific situation where you're going to need to do that. Don't worry about it. It's probably not going to happen. So let's just go into my admin group right here and let's go into admin radar and you're going to see things look very, very similar to what it looks like when you're viewing it from admin menu. It's just a different graphical interface, but it gives you all of the same information. Plus, it gives you the ability to grant and revoke permissions simply by clicking on buttons. We can click on granted to grant it and we can click on revoked to revoke it. It is just that simple. So why do I use one of those two plugins to control or take care of or manage all of my permissions? A, because there's going to be a ton of them and you don't want to have to individually grant each one of them. Trust me, it's annoying. You don't want to do it. Plus, it's super easy. You can just pull up a menu. Somebody's missing a permission. You can go in and actually validate that they are missing that permission, whatever it happens to be. And you can quickly click on a button and grant them that permission. Admin menu, very powerful tool, but costs money. Permissions manager, very powerful plugin plugin for dealing with permissions. It's free, available from CodeFling. I'm going to put links to both of these plugins in the video description down below. So if you haven't already, go check them out. Trust me when I say they are well worth your time. And if you do decide to buy admin menu from Chaos Code, it's even that's worth it. Like I said, I'm not promoting it. I'm not pushing that plugin. I'm not trying to get you to buy that plugin, especially if we're only talking about permissions, which is what this video is all about. Permissions Manager does everything you need it to do as far as dealing with permissions. If you haven't already done so, make sure you join the Discord at discord.srtbull.com. And of course, if you'd like to help support the channel, you can check me out at, at patreon.srtbull.com. You get special accesses in the Discord, plus you get your name mentioned at the end of each one of the videos, just like these fine folks right here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next Friday.